Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ray, and that's Koji. And in this video, we'll be going over the One Piece pre-release event. So I just came back from an event, and I thought it would be helpful to show my experiences, as well to show what items that I got, including the decks. My event, we did a random draw for the decks and I was able to get the purple deck and unfortunately I was not able to win the Luffy promo but I had a great time and shout out to Infinity Cards in Alder Grove BC. And because this is my first video, I will be giving away one demo deck including the promo pack to one lucky viewer. If you would like to know how to win this, all you have to do is keep watching for details later on. I think this will be a great opportunity for those who are interested in learning, learning about the game as well as those who want to participate in the limited deck battles. In regards to the items I got from the pre-release event, by entering you automatically get one playmat. One promo pack, a Luffy promo, as well as one deck. So for my event, I was able to get a purple deck, but we are able to purchase all the deck at the end of the event. Now without further ado, I'm going to go over each deck, starting with which I think is the weakest out of the four, the red deck. So this is the red straw hat crew deck. I feel this deck is the easiest one to learn and it is great for people who love to attack early and often or for those who are very impatient. The biggest drawback of this deck is that it is easy to run out of steam and that it has little to no late game compared to the other four decks. However, it's, it has been shown that this deck is able to win the pre-release, so don't hesitate to pick this as one of your own. And part of the red deck includes the Luffy leader card. Luffy character card, Zoro, Usopp, Sanji Jinbe Chopper Nami Robin Vivi Frankie Brook Thousand Sunny Sage Diablo Jambe Jet Pistol and Guard Point. So also included with each deck is a Dawn what it looks like and the biggest difference between the pre-release decks and the 
regular deck on coming on December is that the pre-release stamp on each card as well as that each leader card is different from the one that you will receive in December so this is actually an alternate art card or alternate art version of the December deck so the second deck that I want to show is, which I think is the third weakest which honestly can flip-flop between the second and third is the blue seven warlords deck in the back so the seven warlords deck is very very strong and very balanced however i feel that it's the most technically challenging to play so if you are someone new coming into the scene the tcg scene maybe you would rather prefer pick another deck that is easier to use However, if you would like a little challenge as well as you like the bouncing mechanic of sending characters back to their leaders, uh, if you like sending characters back to the other person's hand, then you should try the seven warlords deck. The biggest weakness of this deck is that it has no way to counter big characters such as the purple Kaido. And that, as I said before, it's a little bit challenging to play. However, I feel that it's very, very strong against green. And that it's very, very rewarding to play once you master it. So this deck starts out with their leader, Crocodile. So remember, this is an alt art version. And then we have Dolph Flamingo. Then Crocodile. Mihawk. Teach. Moria. Pasifisa and Tomaru Hancock Bob Mello Trust Pad and Sables. So next we have what I think is the second best deck on the pre-release, the purple Kaido deck. This deck is perfect for people who like playing defensively and waiting to put down really big creatures such as the 7 King as well as the 9 Kaido. The biggest weakness of this deck is that it's very very draw dependent. In my matchup, I was not able to draw Onigashima, King or Kaido and that's why I lost to the green deck. However, honestly, you can flip-flop the purple and blue deck depending on your level skill set. Let's go start by looking at the purple leader Kaido.
Next, we have the character Kaido. King. Queen. Page one, X ray, Jack, Sasaki. Black Maria Sheep's Head Jin Rami Onigashima Last breath. Lead performer, disaster. And finally, Brachio Bomber. Finally, we have what I think is the strongest deck, and the one that you should probably choose is the Green Worst Generation deck. This deck is just very solid with great draws from Bonnie as well as great mid-range characters such as X-Drake and Hawkins and it has the best leader ability in the leader kid. However, the biggest weakness of the uh, green deck is that it is uh, very very underdog against a really good blue deck. So. If you, have, if you are against a really good blue player, then you are really, really tough against. The green deck is definitely led by their amazing leader, Kid, and his ability. Next, we have Law. And then the kid character card. Vito. Rouge. Bege. Kobe Bonnie Apu Hawkins Beppo X Ray Scalpel Felt. 
and straw sword. That is all of the decks. If you'd like to win this booster deck with the promo pack, all you have to do is hit like, subscribe, and comment down below which one is your favorite deck. You have until October 15 to uh, apply. So good luck, everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like. And if you would like to be up to date with my box openings in December, I have about 30 boxes uh, ordered. Uh, make sure you stay subscribed so you don't, you don't miss any of my videos. Um, thanks everyone for watching and I hope everyone a great day. Cheers.